For TraderInsight.com, I'm Julie Manz, and this is the Unfinished Business Report for December 20th on Tuesday. So we'll be looking at five trades for tomorrow that are possibilities, two of which I like better than the other two. And let's look at what happened with last night's. I did tweet those out last night. So if you don't have a video recording from me, just always make sure to check, and you're interested, make sure to check the uh, at Trader Insight on Twitter. And I've usually tweeted out those, those uh, extra innings. So of the four from yesterday, two of them really had a nice move that we could capitalize on. One was TIF Tiffany. You can see on the left here on the daily, I mean, I'm sorry, on the five minute chart that it trade it pulled back on open and that's when I'm really looking for some opportunity. Did trade from an R1 pivot down to the central pivot, pulled back up and came all the way down to the support pivot. So that made for some nice opportunities, some short scalps, some longer scalps, and that's what we look for with these extra innings. We also had PVH win these open and pull back. That's again where I'm looking for opportunity and an entry as we round down with very tight stops. That's the name of the game. And we did have the opportunity today, another consolidation and another move down. So those two worked out really well. Let's see what we can look at for tomorrow from today's trading plan. I really like the look of Macy's. It had a long drift down throughout the afternoon and on the daily chart, it is at the bottom of its range and there is room on the daily to go lower. So Macy's is a good one for my list for tomorrow. LB is another one. So again, it's closing toward the bottom of its range. It did have an inside day, as you can see on the daily chart, and sometimes those pop down lower. So I'll have that. DECK is another one, again, traded lower. Looks like there's room to the downside and went down in some nice stair step moves today. I'm going to keep SLCA on the back burner list and just see if the move heads lower or if perhaps there's a pullback in the morning and it heads lower back into the lower part of this daily range. I'm going to keep Tiffany for one more day just to see what would happen. It really did close in the middle of its range and found support. So I might be trying to squeeze too much out of this one, but we'll see uh, if it does a movement or a pullback. I will keep an eye on it. All right, I hope everyone had a great trading day. I hope you can come by and check us out in our live trading room and see how a lot of these things play out uh, intraday and live. Also, we have, for those of you who are learning, uh, would prefer to learn to fish rather than um, just follow someone else's uh, picks day after day and are a little worried about the, um, I call it the Mack truck event. Um, anybody could be hit by a Mack truck, right? So, um, if that's something that rolls around your head and you want to learn how to do this yourself, then we do have another boot camp coming up. We do them regularly. We've got a great group of uh, masterminds who have taken uh, the this boot camp before, and we end up just loving everybody who's been in it. So we have a few spots left. We It's filling up. We have uh, people who we're really looking forward to meeting and working with, and we don't want to overcrowd these things. They're always very small. So anyway, if you're interested, you can go to traderinsight.com slash events and uh, look that up, and there's a place to apply, and, and let me give you a call, and just to make sure that you're sort of in a place that, that this makes sense for you. But um, we want to invite you to do that as well. So I hope everyone has a great trading day tomorrow. See you then.